In this video, I'm going to show you how to export a PDF from Adobe InDesign. So I already have a file open. It's an excerpt from my iBooks author guide. And I'll go up to File and choose Export. Now it's got a name already. And the, for the format, I'm going to choose Adobe PDF Interactive rather than Adobe PDF Print. The difference is that print PDFs are more suited to pre-press applications. For example, if you're going to send your book to a print shop or a print-on-demand service like Lulu that will print a uh, paper edition of your book. Whereas interactive PDFs preserve internal and external hyperlinks, so they're more suited to reading on a screen, especially if you have hyperlinks and you want your readers to be able to click on a link in your book and be sent to a website. So that's what we're going to pick. Click Save, and now we have some options. Now I want to do the whole thing, so I'll do all pages. Um, I'm going to choose pages rather than spreads because I want the book to scroll continuously up and down rather than have side to side uh, facing page spreads. Most of the rest of this I'm going to leave as it appears. I'm going to view after exporting so that I can uh, preview it as soon as it's done. Page thumbnails, yes. Uh, no layers. I'm going to leave view and layout to the defaults, but you could choose actual size or fit to page. There's a number of options here that you can tweak to your liking, but I leave this all set as default. And under image handling, I choose lossless compression uh, because lossless compression is going to preserve more information than lossy compression. And as a result, I don't get to choose what, see this is grayed out, I don't get to choose what uh, quality of JPEGs I'm creating since lossless JPEGs are already going to be the highest quality. For resolution, I'll choose 96 pixels per inch, which is a little bit denser and therefore sharper than 72, but not so dense that images will appear small or cramped on the screen. And I don't apply any security, so I leave all of this unchecked. And finally, I click OK. For a five-page document, this is pretty quick, but for larger documents, it might take a while. And here we go, it's done. And uh, this looks just like how it appears in Adobe InDesign. It looks great. And that's about all there is to it.